Grace Missionary Church. My name is Benjamin Mawaro. I'm a pastor from Cape Town. I came here uh, looking for mentorship, uh, ministry and face many challenges, mm -hmm. looking for a solution, uh, means to grow and how to go about it. Uh, it was awesome and uh, God's presence too much and they just pinpoint the problem that I was facing and they just told me that the root cause of the problems mm -hmm. and they said, uh, told me that what brings confusion, there's another woman that was singing my church, mm -hmm. just came and gave me a person to sing and the other one was causing that, it was a spirit that causing a stagnation in my ministry and fornication and uh, also other pastors that were fighting me, mm -hmm. uh, when telling people around strong things mm -hmm. So, and I know my past is over. Now I'm feeling I'm delivered, I'm free, I'm blessed. I feel too much anointing, too much presence of God. Uh, pastors, I, mean, I know many pastors got pride that we think and do it alone, but there are people that are already raised by God that are higher, got higher anointing. We should seek a help, we should seek also mentorship from them and impartation so that our ministry grow and us also we grow spiritually. Charis Missionary Church. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm Pastor Joas Mutiba from uh, Zani in Limpopo. Yes, I came here because <laughs> I had a series of challenges with family, with uh, business, and also with ministry. Yeah, we started a church seven years back. The church was growing well, was developing and going on very well. But of late, the church has just come down and nothing is working well. I, I do not see uh, the type of cooperation that I expect I used to see in the church before and uh, there's just no affected me adversely because uh, you know when you know that you are called for the work and the work was developing well and then all of a sudden the work crashes and come down such uh, significantly so in you start asking yourself many questions. You're praying, you're fasting, you're doing everything that you have to do as a pastor, but you do not see the fruits the, of your the labor that you are, and so that, that one is very worrying. And so uh, the same also applies in the family, things not going on the way they're supposed to be. We're not agreeing, me and Ma, we do not agree on anything. For eight years, we haven't made any progress whatsoever. It's nothing that is smooth. Yes, I've... The experience, it was beautiful. It was beautiful and uh, I'm very grateful to God about this experience. Yes, because uh, I really wanted to hear the prophetic voice of the man of God about all these things and uh, he really set a mouthful and I'm able to see my way forward. I feel very, very excited Amen. and I know that I'm going back to Zani with the fullness of the Spirit of God, Amen. the impartation that I have uh, received uh, and also the counsel that I received. Uh, it's giving me great hope that moving forward, everything will go on well. Viewers out there, <laughs> uh, great men and women of God have proved that life is spiritual. And so uh, we need spiritual leaders that God has empowered to also empower us so that we can be able to make progress. You cannot make progress in the spirit world on your own. You need someone to take you through, someone to impart 
some uh, things to you, someone to deliver you out of the ch uh, serious challenges that are blocking your progress. And so uh, make sure that you make ways in the direction in which the Spirit of God is leading you so that you can get the type of assistance that you require. And I'm very hopeful that from here moving forward, everything will go on wall and I'll be coming uh, for great testimonies and also to put the seat uh, to thank God about the progress that I'll be seeing.